Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a proper crouch um, in a platform actor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit preview here just to show you that I have a platformer game. Um, when I press down it doesn't crouch. I can go through my platforms, um, stuff like that, but I want to make this actor crouch. And there's a way that most people do it, and then there's a proper way to do it, so I'm going to show you now. I'm going to go into this player here, and then I have all my rules to make him work, but we're going to add a new rule. And I'm going to say, when key down is down, what we're going to do is we're going to change attribute, and we're going to change self, size, height, and I'm going to change it to 18. That's about half of what it is. Uh, the height's 36. So when it's crouching, I want it to go half. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do an otherwise. And I'm going to change that back to the 36. Um, and I'm going to hit preview. So you'll see when I crouch, it crouches. And let go, it goes up. Now, that's okay. But if you notice, when I press crouch, it basically falls. There's this room underneath the actor. And it um, doesn't look very pretty. And when I let go, you can see how the actor comes under the floor and goes back up. You know, so it does the job, but it doesn't do it properly. So we're going to fix that. The first thing I'll show you is I have two actors. I have a crouch uh, image, sorry, and a full image. Um, so you might want to do that if you have your own image for when it's crouching and when it's not crouching. I'm going to go back into behaviors. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change the position of this actor when it's crouching. So we're going to do another change attribute. And we're going to change self position. And we're going to change the Y because that's up and down. And we're going to change it to self position Y minus bracket self size height divided by two close bracket so basically what we want to do is we want to keep it on the floor so we always want the the bottom of this actor to be touching the floor uh, when it's crouching and not crouching uh, and that'll take away the effect of it falling and you know having gaps in between when we crouch so I'm gonna hit OK and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and we're going to put it down underneath this one. And for this one, we're going to use the same thing, but we're going to turn the minus into a plus. And this one here, we're going to go divided by 4. Now, I want to add my images for the animation, or not the animation, but the change image for crouching and not crouching. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in there, change image. So when it's crouching, I'm going to use my crouch. And then I'm going to copy this down here. And I'm going to put my non-crouch actor in there. And then um, what we want to do is hit preview. And now you'll see when I crouch, there's no jumpiness. The actor just stays right where it is. It doesn't push down underneath the platform. Uh, it doesn't jump up when I come up. So it's a nice cool effect there, very flawless. I like it a lot. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to do to have a proper crouch in Game Salad.